part of doing the bomb. I'm going to go and report this again because there's no dangerous. This thing should not be there. I can't get a new catalog of fauna and flora in there because of this. This fence is illegally put there. And if it's not illegally put there, then tell me that. And tell me by who. Because then I can challenge it. Because that was a common law path since the bleaching fields got knocked down. Now they've got a big development over there behind Iceland. A social, 30 social care houses, so to say. What about environmental care? I mean, they're eradicating too much around here. It's pathetic, man. They talk about things, but they never do them, eh? Especially with this crap council. Well, I create all these maladies. And, like, I'm going to show you the new bridge that they've done. Let's hope it's safe and secure. That's a mess. Dangerous. I can't believe that. They've put down metal sheets here and they've been spot welded. What are they things are that spot welding or arc welding? It doesn't feel safe to me, it feels bouncy. Oh dear. I don't understand why the this is no an improvement to this bridge. This bridge was alright. And the cones you see down there are for here for when these people had this all blocked off. But they've no bother to go and pick them up, so I might pick them up and get them disposed of and then send an invoice to the company, ChemSEM, because that's why I did this. Employed by the council, the comfy Kirkcaldy or Falkirk. Anyway, they come from somewhere and fight. Yeah, they're allowed to come in here. There's amphibian dis distort over here. And some other wee plants that I want to get photographs of, but I can't because of this. And so, something needs to be done about it. It's very dangerous. And I will be going up and reporting it to the Long Haul Police yet again. For the umpteenth time. This should not be here. That was a common law path and I was entitled to use it, but now I can't. Somebody's been using it anyway. Oh, it's actually open. See, I never broke in there. I just came through that wee space here. So. This is uh, the common law path that I was talking about. There is no getting used. But as you see, I didn't break and enter there. I just walked in, which I'm quite entitled to do, under common law. And this is bleach, bleachy meadows, as I call it. An amazing wee place. It's the last vestige of a semi-natural state, state. And it needs to be saved the developers. I mean, there's uh, rats, we don't know. Um, what do you call it? it? needs to be taken care of. But yeah, as you can see, the path is still there. Although it's starting to get overgrown, it's still there. That's how long it's been in use. It's finding it very hard for Mother Nature to get a grip of it again. It's been consolidated over the millennium. Well, over 50 years that this has been getting walked on bare feet. So it's truly a path and it needs to be saved. Because it's an amazing wee place, as you can see. And there's history here as well. That along the back there, that embankment, was not always an embankment, it was a pathway or a roadway for when the horses, heavy horse, used to drag the bleached jute, because this is a bleaching field, that's what I call it, bleaching meadows. This was a bleaching field where the jute was laid out and died, then it was drained off into the dicky burn and then left to dry and then it would be collected 
and the dray horses would haul it up and along the roadway to along to the end there and then it went up and into Bridgend Street where they had big warehouses where they would hang the jute and then bail it ready for transport to India, Calcutta maybe. So there's a lot of history here and it has to be saved because that history is part of this natural or semi-natural. As you can see it's an amazing place. Look, beautiful. And this is the legacy that we need to save for our kids, for our future generations. Not because some developer like these people over here need money. Money is nothing. You could print money anytime. And the real value is here. That thing at once is gone. It's never returned. Never ever. Doesn't matter what kind of seed bank you've got. This natural, semi-natural setting here, which is important in the sort of greater scope of things or the bigger picture. It's this wee bitties like this need to be saved because the eradication of the green areas in Dundee is abysmal. I can't go out without feeling sadness now. Everywhere I go, this dubious council are talking about the green areas. They're not replacing trees. They're allowing developments like that in there and then at the bottom of the long half to just come in and do what they want. I mean that's right next to an important fresh water source, especially with fresh water becoming so well needed worldwide, globally. And yet we are this council are allowing it to be polluted to such an extent. It's unbelievable. Yet nature still tres, as you can see. She carries on regardless. I'm down to see if maybe oh maybe apple trees okay. But for how long? There's a wild apple tree over there. As you can see, this has been getting munched on by the deer. She take this morning, Jane. Or Hawthorne. But it's definitely been getting munched on by the deer. The soft shoots. As the deer come through here. Roe deer. There's my sotus. Arvensis. Forget me not. This is beautiful, this. This is raspberries. Now this is, uh, this goes a while back to the 80s. Now the berry buses that used to come around Mid Craigie, Whitfield, Douglas, uh, Fintry, and the Tarty buses and all. But this is raspberries. So that would have been for the berry pickers coming home with some berries and that. Munching on them or dropping them out or hanging a berry thing on the way home. And and that's berries. So that goes back to berry picking thing, which a lot of people will remember. But this wee amazing area should be saved. It would make a beautiful nature park. So need it in crowded civilization. And you need that space. This space needs to be saved. Oh, Mr. Fox. I flagged Mr. Fox there. You maybe seen him just at the top centre, it would have been. <laughs> Look, litter fee there. Litter fee over there. That looks like the actual buildings over here. I'll keep that in there. Talk that in, see what I could find out about it. Look at this, this is ridiculous. This is off because this firm didn't want here to put it through a common way. But they'll still hate to put a common way through there. Yeah, you still will. You have to leave this open. And the ah, But here. This is the common path. And the common path goes up to here and right on to there. So I hope they remember that. Look at this. 
Look at this development right on the edge. There's a Dick Day Barn there. There's this catastrophe here. I'm saying catastrophe now because unless they put up the huge fence along that side, this is just going to get polluted even more, which is ridiculous, man. Ah, oh, please. I think I'm going to start back into nature uh, conservation and see if I could uh, identify uh, all the green space in Dundee that's left and try and get it protected. Because we kind of leave it up to the fools at council that claim to be worried about the environment, claim to be doing everything about the environment. No, they're no. No trying to save the environment one bit. Show me one bit they've tried to save. Show me it. They're disgusting, every one of them. Environmental, not. Not at all. Anyway, let's see if we could get this saved. Because this is an amazing wee place, this. It is huge when you're at it, just as an individual. But really, this could be such a beautiful nature park. And I was thinking of hearing something on it. A building just for conservation, just for uh, allowing people to come in and see about the environment, see what's happening in the environment, get things understood. Let the people that want to can, what are interested, give them that free knowledge, the knowledge of the the value of this, the knowledge of how to keep this, how to sustain it. We can only sustain so much, man, and we need to sustain it soon. Like a couple of years ago, we should have been doing this. But unfortunately, I've been sidetracked. Now, my only goal is to preserve what should have been preserved long, long ago. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe.